Hey, welcome back. I'm John Tabler and today we're going to go into the kitchen and see the results of the fermented milk that I started about five days ago. And before we go into the kitchen, I want you to see just a few articles that I have re regarding this. A lot of people think that milk is not good for you and actually it is very good for you, but it's the pasteurization that has been done to it that actually makes it not good for you now. And along with that, the, homo the homogenization which is where they take a process that s makes the cream and the rest of the milk not separate. It atomizes it and there's plenty of evidence showing that this causes big problems in your body. Not to mention that they don't feed the cows grass. They feed them unnatural things that they weren't supposed to have. So there's a lot of reasons why current milk isn't good for you. But if you get whole raw milk where the cows have eaten grass, and you ferment it, much like you have to ferment wheat to destroy or, or nullify the gluten and wipe it out and make the nutrients assimilable in the same way you have to ferment milk. And that's the way that yogurt and uh, actually clabber is a name for this milk, clabbered milk, uh, yogurt, clabbered milk, cheese, and all these type of things came about because it preserved the milk and it fermented it, released the nutrients, and also made it so that certain things were nullified in the milk in the same way gluten is in wheat. The lactose and galactose and these type of things get completely nullified. And so people who are lactose intolerant can actually drink milk when fermentation has been done properly. And so I wanna show you a couple of things before we go into the kitchen. Right here, there's an article called, uh, with the title, Study Finds Milk May Shorten Lifespan, but with one big exception. And so when we read, it says, a growing body of research has linked milk consumption to potentially negative health effects, particularly when it comes to aging. And yet other studies have found that consuming fer fermented milk products like yogurt may protect health. A new study out of Germany explores the effects of pasteurized non-fermented milk on health and why fermented dairy doesn't have the same negative impact. And when you scroll down, uh, there's another, another uh, section that says, a number of past studies that focused on Sweden found a link between drinking pasteurized milk and all-cause mortality. On the flip side, however, a body of research has linked fermented dairy products like yogurt with health benefits something often attributed to the variety of good bacteria found in these products. And that's because the proper fermentation is being done. Uh, in another article, it's called Clabber Milk, what it is and why you should eat it and how to make it. That's exactly what this is called. It, it was always called, um, it, in some cultures it's called yogurt, in some places it's called clabbered milk, but it's the same thing. And clabber milk is a naturally fermented milk product that can be eaten raw or used in recipes. And it's the preservation of milk without refrigerators or electricity. When we come down and read, it says fermenting or souring milk is very different than having milk spoil. Spoiled milk only occurs if the beneficial bacteria found in clean raw cow's milk have been killed by pasteurization thus allowing mold spores or other contaminants to flourish. And that's when it breaks down and rots and goes back to the soil. Um, and when we scroll down a little further, this was the part that I really wanted you to see. In Harold McGee's book on food and cooking, The Science and Lore of the Kitchen, he elaborates on the health benefits of fermented milk, stating, the standard industrial yogurt and buttermilk bacteria are specialized to grow well in milk, and cannot survive in the human body. But in traditional yogurt, other bacteria found in traditional spontaneously fermented milk, Lactobacillus fermentum, L. cassii, and L. brevis, for example, as well as L. planetarium from pickled vegetables and the intestinal native L. acidophilus do take up residence in us. Articular strains of these bacteria adhere to and shield the intestinal wall secrete antibacterial compounds, boost the body's immune response to particular disease microbes, dismantle cholesterol and cholesterol-consuming bile acids, and reduce the production of potential carcinogens. So this is an actually, an actually uh, purifying, health-giving food that everyone should have in their diet. But the only way to do it, once again, is with raw milk 
and you saw in my last video it's very simple you just pour it into a jar set it on the counter and now we're going to see what happens after five days now one last study i will show you effective fermentation on lactose glucose galactose content in milk and suitability of fermented milk products for lactose intolerant individuals and basically this says that the lactose, glucose, and galactose content in various fermented milk products was studied by enzymatic methods. Lactose was decreased in all fermented products, and it was the same with the rest of them. And further down, it says eight lactose intolerant individuals showed symptoms of abdominal distress and diarrhea following consumption of 500 milliliters of low fat milk, whereas ingestion of the same quantity of yogurt or acidophilus milk which is basically the same milk but now fermented, did not result in any symptoms. And actually, it wouldn't probably be the same milk. They probably gave them pasteurized milk from the start. And in many of these studies, they don't really use the raw milk. They add the uh, elements to it that will ferment, but not in the full spectrum like it does, like we have in the kitchen. So let's go take a look at it and see how it's come out. Okay, here we are in the kitchen, and so you'll remember that I set the, the milk in the jars right back behind me, and there were some that were already done for a couple days, and that would be this one, and the other one that I did actually on camera is right here, and you'll see that on the bottom there's a clear liquid. That is whey, and this would be called curds, and so really what always happened was you would take a cheesecloth like this which is just a piece of material and you would pour that whole substance through the cloth strain out the whey and then you have cottage cheese and so the big difference is when opening this and I'm gonna open the one that's just a little bit longer or maybe I'll open both of them we'll see the difference uh, I like to put them in a, on a plate or a bowl, by the way, because sometimes, you know, fermentation, <laughs> it'll, it'll shoot out a little bit extra if you get it close to the top. I keep just a little bit of air, but that one expanded a little. Although, you know, if, if you don't use a lid like this and you uh, tighten the lid down, it's not any problem. The jars won't break. It doesn't expand enough with uh, milk to do that. It would do that with sauerkraut. But I'm gonna open up this one first. And when I do, you'll see right on the top, it's more yellow. So there you can see, and you can see that a little closer. And the cream actually turns yellow and the curds are white. And so this is where sour cream came from. Sour cream was soured just like sauerkraut fermented milk where the cream rose to the top and the cream is soured uh, it's not it's not like butter where you have to uh, churn it and churn it and then it turns harder if you churn it it will but it's sour cream and it's the best sour cream that there is because it's real sour cream this the the stuff they make in the stores that they call sour cream is not soured cream it's an imitation of soured cream. Uh, this is real sour cream. And so it's gonna be the best sour cream you've ever had. Maybe there's French restaurants uh, that would have that, especially in France where they can have raw milk, but this is real sour cream. Now, you'll notice that the curds are white, okay? Now, I'm going to taste the sour cream. I mean, it's not ice cream, but it's extremely good. It would be ice cream if you put sweetener in it. Now, what you can do with this is you can take and strain the liquid off or just stir it, which is what I'm going to do. And as you do, when it's done, you have yogurt. It's very easy 
You can use a spoon or pour it. See if I'm going to make a mess. Pour it right into there, into the into the bowl. And many times I'll eat the cream off or lift the cream off. Uh, as it sits longer, it changes a little bit in in how it the texture of it. I'm going to open this one up in a second. We'll compare. But if you take that, which is yogurt, and you add blueberries. I've washed these already. Just put them in. You can take a banana. And just slice it up slice it up as as you do with the banana <laughs> then what you do is you take some raw honey now I use raw honey in the same way I use raw milk and everything else because once it's been heated the effect on your body is entirely different it turns to a different type of sugar raises your blood sugar but raw honey will not do that so in keeping healthy, you want to look for raw honey. We drizzle that all over it. And now essentially what you have is ice cream. I mean, it's extremely good, but extremely, extremely good for you. And so if you add this to your diet every day, it will make your intestines healthy, your diet healthy. It's perfect. Perfect. I'll give you a look at that. Now we're going to open up this one and compare it with what we saw on the other one. It's about three days less um, that it sat. What I do, by the way, when I, when I take that, I just put the lid back on. You can lose this one and put a, get a regular lid, or if you used a regular lid from the start, you just use a regular lid. And I will keep it out until it's about halfway down, and then I'll transfer it into... A regular jar the more air gets to it um, it's better off to keep as much air from it as possible if you can w one thing that you can do uh, when it gets down a little ways is just put a little salt on the top there's two ways to go with this you can put yogurt with a honey sweetener and fruit in there or you can put salt and pepper on it and if you put a little salt on the top it keeps it really really uh, preserved and good nothing like sometimes a thin layer of a of a yeasty type thing will get on the top of it you just want to take that off it's it's not a big deal it hardly ever happens unless it's been sitting for a long time at room temperature but that's a, na a natural and normal thing to have happen now <laughs> that one was talking to us a little bit let a little bit of air out I'm gonna take this one off let you see that that is beautiful I'm telling you that is the best tasting cream that you would have, will have ever had. Now if you remove the cream first and then you just put the white curds in a bowl, it will be a very mild yogurt. The less of the liquid that you keep in it, the much more mild it will be. Or you can just mix it all up together and uh, have all the health benefits and the taste that comes with it. Uh, you have a mild yogurt or a, a much stronger one, depending on how you uh, proportion out the various components. And the longer that you let this sit, uh, the more, let's say the shorter period of time it sits, the more mild it is. And the longer it sits, it gets more uh, cheesy, so to speak, um, a little bit stronger of a taste. But either one of them are preserved and extremely good for you you have to really realize that this is an entirely different natural process than rotting or breaking down. You know right away when something like that happens. And if you have pasteurized milk and it sat out, sat out on the counter and you try to drink some of that, you'll get sick really bad. This is not anything like that. Those organisms cannot even exist in this. This is preserved. This is how cheese and yogurt and every other milk product was made for all time and this is the one that imparts health giving life giving properties to your body and repels sickness disease and 
um, any pathogenic bacteria that would be in your body and promotes health, wellness, longevity. It's, it's fantastic. And you know, if you take the liquid and strain it off or just dish out the solid, you're going to have cottage cheese and you don't need to sweeten it. You can just put salt and pepper on it. It's incredible. Uh, it's one of the best things. If you start doing this, um, you will, you, I don't think you'll stop. It's incredible. You can take a sourdough, a piece of sourdough bread and wipe the cream across the top, put butter, jelly or anything on there and it's an entirely different food this type of food is not going to cause you cause a person to really get overweight quickly it's they're going to stay healthy if you look at old pictures of different societies of people that have eaten these type of foods they were lean and athletic and in shape and so getting back to these kind of foods is so important because it can it can keep you healthy, repel disease, and frankly, the food taste is just multiple times better than anything that you'll have otherwise. So I wanted you to see this. This is the beginning. Now, I have another batch that's been sitting for months, and I'm going to come back and show you how to make cheese from that. It's been sitting for a much longer time and is really uh, darker and much more separated but this is where you want to go if you want to make yogurt you, from this point about five days you stir it or uh, just dish it out little by little and then drink the whey separately i mean you can experiment around if you stir it up right away you saw me do that or you can dish out the curds as they are in that form just like that and it's a much thicker yogurt. So it all depends how, how much liquid you want. You can experiment around with it, but you've seen what I've done. All I did was put the milk in a jar, set it aside, and it did its thing. And that, my friends, is yogurt. Real yogurt. You're gonna love it. Like and subscribe down below, and I can't wait to see you back for what's next.